Recording in progress. Okay. Okay, we'll now begin with questions for Chase Lee. Please use the raise hand function to indicate you want to ask a question. We'll begin with Joey Blackwell of Bama Central. Hey Chase, fan, uh, Joey Blackwell, BamaCentral.com. Um, a fantastic outing for you up there on the mound today. You know, your longest start of, of the season, coming off of your, another long start against Mississippi State. Um, not longest start, but longest outing, excuse me. Talk about your confidence on the mound today. You came in with a sticky situation and, you know, talk about, you know, what's going through your mind when you're on the mound out there today. Yeah, um, I mean, incredible defense behind me. It's really easy to pitch and pound the zone when you know guys behind you are going to make plays. Uh, Peyton had a great play. Uh, you know, Zane had some great plays. That It was all around just really good defensive effort, and it was really easy to pound the zone when guys like that uh, are behind you. Okay, our next question is from James Fletcher. Hey, Chase. James Fletcher from the uh, Tuscaloosa News. Uh, you guys kind of came into this tournament on the bubble, and uh, the pitching staff especially has been lights out. So what was the conversation like leading up to uh, these games and where do you feel like you guys are at now uh, when it comes to that that bubble? You know, nothing really has changed. Uh, we had the mindset of coming in and we knew we had to win some games to, to make a run in the postseason. We knew we were uh, outside looking in and had to win a couple games. And so uh, everyone kind of understood that these were the most important games and the most important innings we'd play all year. Uh, so nobody really had to say anything and nobody did anything special. We just uh, went out there and played and uh, played with the expectation of winning because uh, it's what we had to do to finish the to be able to play uh, continue playing in the season. Okay, next question is from Tyler Martin. Hey Chase, Tyler Martin of BamaCentral.com here. Just wanted to ask you, what was your vantage point of, of the, the play in the ninth, uh, the runner interference call? Uh, what, what were you thinking? What was going through your head when uh, you watching that develop and then seeing them celebrate on the field and then? Ultimately, it gets overturned. You know, uh, I was pretty upset at myself for actually tipping the ball. You know, it was a pretty tailor made double play if I'd have let it go. Uh, and I ended up tipping it up and slowing it down uh, and making it a closer play uh, had the play developed and finished out. Um, I didn't really see the slide, uh, so I didn't know exactly what was going on when they went to review. Uh, but I pretty much understood once they uh, put it on the Jumbotron that uh, it was going to get overturned and we were going to get to keep playing. Um, but as far as seeing the play develop, I didn't really uh, see much of it. Are there any more questions for Chase? We have another question from James Fletcher. Yeah, kind of to go off of what Tyler asked, um, how much can you guys look at that as a turning point, not only for this game, but for your NCAA tournament hopes? Uh, you know, hopefully we carry it with us. Uh, you know, tomorrow's a new day, so we're going to go enjoy this win and, uh, you know, wake up tomorrow and try to do it all over again. You know, in baseball games don't really carry over, but the momentum should help us uh, roll into tomorrow knowing uh, we can win any game at any time, uh, especially playing in an extra inning game like that. We had to compete for a little bit longer against a really good Tennessee team. So being able to do that really builds our confidence going into tomorrow. Hey Chase, thanks for your time today. Yes, sir. Thank you all for having me. Okay, we're now joined by Owen Diodati. Raise your hand. Use the raise your hand function if you would like to ask a question. We'll begin with Tyler Martin. Hey, Dio, Tom Martin, Denver Central here. Uh, what's been working for you these last two days, man? You had the two RBS single yesterday, the two hits today, you know, the game-winning one. I mean, what's been the difference? I mean, North of May, I know it's kind of been a struggle, but, I mean, these last two days here in Denver, you've really seen the ball well to play. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think a lot of it had to do with some, some you know, me the mental part of the game. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm young and I got some growing up to do. And um, I think part of it was just remembering that it's just baseball and, you know, we're, we're here to have fun, and baseball doesn't have to be uh, so serious all the time. And um, I think that's been a big a big change for me the last couple of days. It's just I, I was really committed to going out and having fun and 
Um, I've just I've made some small mechanical changes um, with Coach Bo and with our heading coach, Coach Zuli, over the last couple of days that I think have have helped me with kind of the way I'm being pitched and things like that. But um, you know, it's been it's been awesome just winning these two games and uh, being in a good position going forward in this tournament. Okay, next question is from Joey Blackwell. Hey, Dio, uh, grad on the on the win today. Um, you guys had a solid start from McNary today, and then on top of that, of course, Lee got you guys out of a couple of jams. Um, what is it like having you know such solid pitching on the mound, especially you know yesterday and today? It's huge for us. I mean, those guys go out and give us a chance to win pretty much every time they're out, and um, that's all we can really ask for. And uh, Jacob McNary was huge today. It's been it's been unbelievable what he's done the last two weeks, just kind of coming back off an injury and going out and and really shoving for us and. Um, I have nothing but good things to say about him and, and what he's done and, um, you know, just going out and battling and getting through those four and two thirds for us. And then obviously the bullpen between Will Freeman and Chase Lee, they were, they were unbelievable as well. And, um, you know, when you have guys like that out on the mound, it's really easy to play behind. And um, I think we kind of feed off their energy. Your next question is from James Fletcher. Hey, Dio, James Fletcher from the uh, Tuscaloosa News. I wanted to ask you about that the play in the ninth inning. Um, what did you see on the play, and what was the chatter like uh, as you guys were kind of talking through, you know, whether the game was going to keep going or, or whether they had walked it off? Yeah, I mean, I think in the dugout, um, you know, there's a little bit of a confused, confused stage, and then uh, we all kind of saw what, what happened up on the, um, up on the screen, and um, the way it looked, I, I think they got the call right. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not an umpire by any means, but um, there looked like there was some extra contact there that shouldn't have been there. And, um, you know, it was huge for us to get that bounce. And um, never a doubt in my mind, but uh, that, was, that was really big for us as a team. And obviously, we went on to, uh, to win it. Okay, next question is from Drew, Drew DeArmond. Uh, yeah, Dio, I just wanted to ask, how big has it been for you uh, to get your bat going here uh, in Hoover. I know you had been slumping a little bit, but you've come through in the clutch uh, in, on, in, on two straight days. And so how are you feeling right now? I feel great. I mean, um, you know, big situations. I think maybe it's just a little bit of a coincidence that I've gotten hits in those situations over the last two days. But I'm, I'm really just trying to play loose, play free, and, and have fun while I'm out here. And um, I said it earlier, but baseball is supposed to be fun. And we're at the SEC tournament. Um, a lot of kids dream of being here. And I don't want to take one minute for granted um, being out here. It, it's really unbelievable. And um, you know, as a team, we're, we're really, uh, really close. And it's just really cool to be out here doing what we're doing. And um, I'm, I'm really excited about what the rest of the tournament holds for us. Okay, our last question is from James Fletcher. Yeah, Dio, just to finish up, uh, how big was this win coupled with yesterday's uh, to push you guys towards the NCAA tournament? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, um, obviously we had work to do, just kind of how the regular season uh, ended up for us, but um, these two wins are huge, and we don't plan on stopping here after these two wins. Uh, we're a really confident group, and, and I think we're a really good team, and we can do something really special here in the tournament and uh, hopefully afterwards. So, um, you know, we're just going to keep playing our game, keep doing what we're, do what we're doing. Coach Bo always talks about just going out and playing and competing, and um, I think we do that really well. We don't get too high or too low, and um, as a team, that's something we, we really thrive on. So um, I'm really excited about what it holds, and these two games have obviously been huge for us. Thanks, Owen. We appreciate your time today. Thanks, guys. Hey, we'll be joined by Coach Bo Hannon momentarily. We're now joined by Coach Brad Bohannon. Coach, before we take questions, will you please give us your general thoughts on the game today? Man, what a crazy day at the ballpark. Goodness gracious, in every way, shape, and form. Just a, a lot of crazy plays. And, um, you know, Tennessee played a great game. Uh, really proud of our kids. Uh, we could have easily folded or, or cracked after those defensive miscues in the seventh inning. And, Kids just keep coming, man. That's what they do. This this group is as resilient uh, and as good at dealing with adversity as, as it, I've ever had. Um, just really happy for them that they can get some short-term satisfaction uh, today. And um, 
just just real proud of them. You know, I know we'll talk about these guys, but Jacob McNary just gave us a, a great start. Uh, <clears throat> Chase Lee was amazing out of the pen, and Dio got the big hit. And just a really really good good day. Okay, we'll start off with a question from Joey Blackwell. Hey, Coach, you said it yourself. Solid star on the mound for Jacob McNary today, and then even the just as impressive, you know, Lee was able to get out of quite a few jams there and starting in the seventh. Um, talk about their performances on the mound, particularly Lee and how he was able to, you know, follow through for his longest outing of the season. Yeah, well, <clears throat> you know, Jacob got us off to a great start, and, um, you know, he's coming off a, a little injury, and he threw two innings on Saturday against Mississippi State and looked great. And, um, really, we're just hoping to get two innings out of him today. And uh, he had two quicker innings and said, hey, man, how you feel? You think you can get one more? And, you know, he did that. And then after the third, you know, we'll go tell him he's done. And he's like, the most respectful, best kid in the world. And he's like, coach, well, why are you taking me out, man? I'm going to be good. I'm hitting my spots. Like, I feel good. Like, <laughs> I can rest all summer, you know? So, well, all right, you're going to be able to short lease. So he went back out and, <clears throat> and kept going and pitched great. And, um, you know, Chase has just been a rock in the pin for us for three years now. And, um, you know, at that point, you know, once Tennessee tied the game, JJ and I just kind of said, hey, this is Chase's game. And just made big pitch after big pitch and uh, kept his composure um, when things didn't go great behind him. And uh, just very symbolic of the type of kid that he is. Next question is from Drew DeArmond. Yes, sir, Coach. I just wanted to ask you about Dio. Uh, I know he'd had some struggles down the stretch, but he seems to be rounding back into the form we saw early. Uh, he's had uh, some really big at-bats in this tournament so far. And, and what did you guys kind of tell him uh, before the big hit to, to retake the lead in the 11? Well, Dio kind of, you know, got a little bit out of whack. We don't talk mechanics a lot, especially during the season, but he'd kind of gotten a little bit out of whack with um, – with the swing and uh, made some nice adjustments there and, and where he can repeat a little better. And, um, you know, he's just got that clutch gene, you know, whatever it is, he's got it. And, um, you know, he's a guy that I, I like having up with people on base, especially late in the game. And, you know, there was nothing special there. Um, you know, Hunley for Tennessee is a, a really good pitcher and uh, really pitches off his fastball. So we're kind of just saying, hey, you know, get a good pitch to hit. Make sure you push the fastball down because uh, he's really hard to hit if you're swinging at pitches at the top of the zone or above the strike zone. So Dio obviously got a good pitch to hit and put a good swing on it. The next question is from Tyler Martin. Hey, Coach Bo. Uh, you kind of mentioned in your opening just some crazy plays out there. What was your vantage point uh, there in the bottom of the ninth on the runner interference ball? I, th I th really think they got all the calls right. I, I really do. And, you know, I, I just think and I'm going to give the league a compliment. Adding video review has just been amazing. It, it just takes all the emotion out of it. And, um, y you know, as a coach or as a player, all, all you can do is ask them to take a look. And, um, you know, I, I thought they, they got all the calls right. I, I really do. Those guys, um, you know, you don't notice a good umpire. You only notice the ones when they – make mistakes and I'm just so thankful that my profession's not like that. I would hate to, uh, for coaching to be the exact same way. Okay, the next question is from James Fletcher. Yeah, Coach, uh, James Fletcher from the Tuscaloosa News. You guys, uh, like you said, there were a lot of calls where they had to go to replay and it, it, they got uh, the decisions right in the end, but how big was this game and being able to come back from uh, that seventh inning to win it in the 11th for your guys' NCAA tournament hopes? Well, it's big on so many levels. And I, you can't win this tournament going through the loser's bracket. I, I don't I'm, – I'm sure nobody's ever lost on – played one on Tuesday, then lost on Wednesday and played straight through. I, I can't imagine that would ever happen. Um, so it just it buys us two more days, you know. I just keep saying, like, I'm not even worried about the NCAA tournament or I'm not worried about winning this tournament. I, I just want to extend the season. I absolutely love these kids. We've got the best kids in the world from great families, and I love working with them, and I, I just don't want it to end. I just want some more time with these guys, and um, that's the biggest motivation for me personally of, of wanting to win. And um, But, yeah, I mean, I, 
you know, you go 12 and 17 in league play, you better go pretty deep in this thing to, you know, to be on the bubble or to, to get in. So I'd feel a lot better if we win another game or two. Next question is from Joey Blackwell. Hey, Coach, this is question is kind of a two-parter. First off, you know, it sounded pretty – the news of Drew Williamson on Monday sounded pretty bleak, um, yet he was, of course, out there late in the game today. How is he feeling? And then the second part of my question is, um, what's the pitching plan moving forward tomorrow? And who, you know, who, if you've decided who the starter is tomorrow yet? Yeah, so, you know, Drew just got his cast off yesterday. And we put him in to play defense um, with stitches in his hand. And that, that'll tell you the, the, the type of competitor and, and warrior that he is. Um, and, and, you know, we wouldn't do that if our medical staff, you know, wasn't comfortable with him playing defense for half an inning. Uh, but he's not to the point where where he's cleared to swing the bat. But um, he's an elite defender at first base. And if we have a lead tomorrow late, then he's going to be in there to play defense as long as he's able and, and willing to do it. Uh, I think tomorrow we're going to start Chase Lee. I'm just kidding. <coughs> he would probably do it. But we're going to start Dylan Smith tomorrow. Next question is from Drew D. Armand. Drew. Uh, yes, Coach. I'm sorry. My, my apologies. Had to try to get unmuted there. Uh, but Coach, I, I know uh, you just said that you would uh, you gave uh, you gave away your uh, pitching plans. But as far as the bullpen, uh, it's really been a strength the first two days. Where you think it is? Obviously, Chase Lee uh, exerted a, a ton of 80 plus pitches. But how do you like how your bullpen set up right now? Well, I mean, you can never have enough pitching, but <clears throat> I feel good coming to the park tomorrow. Dylan Smith's going to give us a great start, like he has most every time this year. And Connor Shamblin's still available, and uh, Landon Green's still available, along with you know some other guys. So, uh, you know, I, I think as far as trying to get to the weekend or get to Sunday, it, it's pretty important to win tomorrow so that you get that day off on on Friday. So, we'll uh, we'll give them everything we got tomorrow and see how it goes and if we're playing um, you know Friday morning then we'll just kind of see what we got and roll with it okay next question is from Tyler Martin yeah I know you guys just got done this one um, but just what are your preliminary thoughts on Florida a team you guys weren't able to face in the regular season uh, a team you know just run rule Mississippi State what, what are your preliminary thoughts on yeah, I mean, you could ask me that question every year. The last 10 years, I'd tell you the same thing. I mean, just one of the best teams in the country, uh, uber talented, uh, really well coached. Just they're, they're the total package. And, um, you know, they're looking like a team that's heating up at the right time. So it will be a tremendous, tremendous challenge. And uh, I know that uh, they're going to get our best effort. And uh, um, we're going to have to play really, really well to beat them. Any more questions for Coach? Thanks, Coach. We appreciate your time. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry. That concludes this press conference. A full transcript will be provided by ASAP Sports. You can also find a recording of the press conference in the SEC media portal.